as they line up and wait that green flag. Green flag is in the air. First time all weekend we've had more than one vehicle on the <laughs> racetrack. And we saw the trouble they were having keeping one going straight. Here we go. Zane Smith on the bottom. Ty Majeski on the outside. Big push from Christian Eckes. What kind of push can we get from the bottom? Oh, he's getting a big one. You could see Wiggles out of that Zane Smith truck. But they, look, Matt they, Benedetto is on him. They can lock bumpers do. here. They can lock bumpers. Down here. Wow, that's a lot more organized on the outside. Look at though. Being a little squirrely up front. Yeah, it's very squirrely. Well, Zane Smith have enough energy to get around. They're side by side. Green and white checkers are out. Christian Eckes. Christian <laughs> Eckes gets that stage one win. <laughs> very special. She's running 13th right now as the flag is back out. Matt Crafton. Ty Majeski. And Ben Rhodes, those ben four sports oh, They're lined up. They had a plan, didn't they? Let's stay out and let's line up for the race lead. And they do just that. Is Carson Hosevar able to squeeze up? No, he, he doesn't try to get to. there. He tried to. Side by side. Here's your push, 38 still pushing even. Nice so run. far, so good for the bottom. Yeah, the inside's doing a nice job right now. Bailey Curry, the 41, has joined that inside line. He's third back on the inside. He always raises your eyebrows when he gets a chance to run in something. That's a great truck that he's driving. I was told he was driving out to Phoenix, is what I was told. Instead of coming here, he's driving out to Phoenix with Rhonda and the dogs. Uh-oh. Bottom oh, lane no. trouble. Something's wrong with Honeycutt. Honeycutt drops below the line, down the front stretch, certainly off the pace. Something broke. Yeah. I mean, something happened to the engine here. And he does a fantastic job. I would give him a ring. And there he goes. That's exactly what that was all about. And look at that big push. Final lap of stage number two. Matt Crafton looking for his first stage win since 2020. The pressure's on, though. The 17, John Hunter Nemechek. They're Got there. Push. Got a push from Corey Heim, his teammate. A big push. Did he pull up? Not quite. Coming out of turn four, who's it going to be for the stage win? It looks like it'll be the 88. Really Matt Crafton does it. it. Wow. That was thrilling. That's going to be an indication of what we're going to see towards the end of the race, I think, too. John Hunter Nemechek, Corey Heim. Matt DiBenedetto, though, on the front row next to John Hunter Nemechek. This racing is just, as, as Matt Crafton said, they're going to take their gloves off. We're going to see some calm racing until that final pit stop, I think, and then after that, it's going to be on. I think right now these guys would like to get five, six, seven, maybe ten laps. Really good run for Chase Purdy. John Hunter Nemechek in the oh. 17. Look Contact. at the damage by Corey Heim. Corey Heim's damage is more than likely going to be terminal. Bring it straight to the box. Bring it straight to the box. Let them clean the grill. And remember, the reason he's back there is because of the contact on pit road. He would never been in that position. And remember also, the restart zone's longer, and these guys have more options. And so when they wait, there's gaps in the back, and those guys get runs, and there's a, there's a sign of it. Except yeah. for the two didn't really go. He didn't really go. And then, and then the 11 was being pushed into the two. Yeah. You can see all the damage oil coming out of that. Side by side. Oof. What is Matt Crafton in the 88 doing? He's poking around, moving that nose around. I think side drafting a bit, trying to slow the outside lane down. Trying to draw them back a little bit. I can't see him going up the middle, but that truck of the 51, that's a strong horse. Watch the momentum that Matt gets here. He was about three truck lengths behind coming off turn four, right on the back bumper of the 51 going in turn one. Got a couple more takers down there. Nick Sanchez, as you mentioned, Jamie, and now Christian Eckes. The Napa truck is going to join that inside line. I'm impressed with the two. They had issues on pit road. They had damage with the Corey Heim incident. They were able to patch that truck back up, and now he's up there. He's not out of this yet. Battle for the lead. Side by side they go. The 51, Jack Wood, there it is. Been trying since the restart to get this lead, and he takes it. And he's bringing Bailey Curry with him. Well, he's stuck in the middle right now. He doesn't want to be there. Yeah, he's in a bind. 
Stuart Friesen has made a third line down. Oh, trouble. 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 Smoker, the 51 Jack Wood goes around. Grant Enfinger. What in the world? Was it a push gone bad or something? The team gets behind you, spin you out. Here, looks Atlanta. like Atlanta. He's going to jump up to the high side because he feels like that's the preferred line. Just don't try to play that game of going back and forth. Look at that push by the 19 of Christian Eckes. Pushes Ben Rhodes out to the front enough for him to go to the outside and get right ahead of that, too. Wow. Exactly what we have, Phil. These guys have found a way to make the bottom work. It's no longer appears to be that much of an advantage to be up top. You see John Hunter dropping back there. He'll get the push from behind from the four. How about Raja? Third truck on the inside line. What a push from Christian Eckes. Let's go. Nick Sanchez, let's see if they can keep it together on the outside. An even launch. Yeah, I thought that was a great start. Everybody trying to make sure they're in position to push. Now if we can just make it one lap. The next. On your straight, just hold a straight wheel here. Hold it straight. That's more hard to do than it sounds. <laughs> oh, big ben push, Rose Chase Purdy. Big push, John Hunter Nemechek falling off the back of the two. He's going to have some help down there, too. That's John Hunter. He knows what he's doing. Side by side they come. Christian Eckes, the two, and Nick Sanchez. Can he hang on? Here comes Eckes. Watch this run. There it is to the top. Ben Rhodes to the outside, making it three wide. Coming oh. out of turn four. Trucks in the wall. Keep digging. Side come by on, side. Cool. Nick Sanchez sideways. Christian Eckes wins the race, hangs on to it. What a day. The, the caution came out. It was waving it was when waving. they took the checker. Yeah, but he, he, it was waving before the trucks got to the finish line. We'll have to see what NASCAR says. See how it happened. Oh, getting pushed was Ankrum from Chase Purdy, and that just sent them up the hill, and they all ran out of space. Yeah, Zane in the 38, Friesen in the 52, all involved. Matt Crafton doing a nice job down off the racetrack, slipping by. And look at that battle up front. There it went. And Matt DiBenedetto doing a nice job avoiding that by going by on the inside. That's probably going to result in a top five finish for Matt. What about a top 10 for Timmy Hill squeezing through there in the 56 truck? Bailey Curry with a top five run. Again, these results are unofficial. He. He, he thinks it's pretty official, though, Christian Eckes. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's comfortable. He's burning it down, putting on a show. Enjoy the moment, guys. Enjoy it.